What is up guys? How you doing? It's James from J Ray Games and I'm back with another video tutorial and today I'm here to talk to you guys about how to get your headset whether it's PSVR or mixed reality or whatever you're using to work with Viveport games. This is awesome. It's another library of games that you can use. Stay tuned and you don't want to miss this one. Okay, well today we're talking about Viveport and Viveport is HTC Vive's game store, I guess you could call it, uh, similar to Steam and similar to Oculus Home and basically it's a library of games that were specifically made for Vive. Uh, we do see a lot of overlap between games that are, you know, on each store, but there are a few exclusive titles that are really, really excellent. Now, the thing you need to know about this is that both Steam, Oculus, and Vive all use Steam VR. It doesn't matter, reg regardless of what store you're using, they all use Steam VR as their output program for their VR, and therefore this is going to work with uh, any headset as long as you have you know gotten into got your headset to play with Steam VR as you know we've done that before if you watch my other videos if you haven't awesome go and watch them figure out how to hook up to it and I'm gonna just show some gameplay um, the game I'm gonna play today is um, if you haven't seen the movie Ready Player One it is amazing. I strongly recommend it. It's incredible. Um, but the game that I'm going to play is a Vive Port exclusive. It's uh, it's the Oasis, which they've tried to recreate from that movie, which is done really well. And the great thing about that is that it's totally free. So if you want to try Vive Port, you want to just jump into it. Here's a game where you can just download Vive Port jump into it right away and it's going to work it's not going to cost you anything so i'll show you how to set that up okay so here we are um on my desktop and i have already launched steam and my trinus and basically i have everything good to go so i'm just gonna turn on uh actually i don't have to turn on the mirror yet until i get into the game but i'm gonna show you viveport um if you head over to the viveport.com website you're going to see something very similar to the steam store really it's it's ex uh, actually i'd say it's more like the uh oculus home uh, store but this is what you're going to get and you can download the uh program so that it launches when you launch steam vr you are going to have to create a free account not a big deal but uh the cool thing is once it's installed i'll just show you what it looks like and uh, here we go. I'll just load that up. You'll get an app that looks very similar to the website. Actually, it's probably just linking to the website. Um, that will start up on your computer when Steam VR starts up. This is what it looks like. So, like I said, you can go through here and there are games that are specific to uh, Vive. And the one that I'm looking for or that um, I wanted to show you guys today I'll just load up my library there's only one I think there's only a couple games but the one that I wanted to show you guys today is where is it hang on a second ah, da, 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 da. oh my computer's lagging a bit here so it has nothing to do with the program just there's a lot going on here where is it? Where is it? You know what? I'm just going to search for it. I don't remember. So if I do a search for Oasis, there it is. Ready Player One Oasis Beta. And look at that price tag. Free. That's what I like to see. So if I click that and I go into here, um, it gives you a little preview of what the game's going to look like. It gives you a little bit of description about the game and then over here it would say download but because mine's already loaded up uh, it's gonna say open alright so what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to switch the camera around so you guys can see what I'm playing in my play area uh, before I hit open. All right. Okay, so I'm ready to play Ready Player One, and I've got the Vive Store ready to go. I got my camera spun around, and all I got to do is hit open. Now, when I do that, it's going to actually mirror my display on screen for me, which is nice. I don't have to worry about mirroring it from Steam VR. So we're going to do that right now. Going to hit open, and here we go. So that should start to load up. You should see the mirror in a second. I'm going to get over there and get my headset on so you guys can see what I see. I am using Nolo today. And I know some people commented and said, you know, why do you use Nolo all the time? Why don't you use PS Move Service? I'll be honest, the reason I don't use PS Move Service when I am shooting video is because it messes with my, um, oops, just setting up my controllers here. Uh, it messes with my recording. Um, I guess I don't have enough USB ports to connect everything uh, with PS Move Service. It takes four ports because I run four cameras. So this is so much easier, it's just one. So here I am in my room and if you haven't seen the movie um, basically the story is Oasis is a VR world that was created for people to live basically everybody lives in the Oasis they uh, collect money coins they call them in the Oasis and that's how they can buy currency in the real world I won't ruin the story for you uh, I mean that's how they use their currency in the real world it's a great story um, and I'm going to just show you that everything's working great. I'm going to go jump over to my chair here. And this is like Inception. I'm taking my headset in my headset. I'm wearing my headset. I'm going to put it on. And I'm going to go into the Oasis. Here we go. So I am leaving the real world. Oh, this is trippy. Into the Oasis. All right. So here is my room in the Oasis. And I'm just going to tell you that the graphics are incredibly good. They look amazing. And if you've got some positional tracking like I've got here, you can walk around your environment a little bit, check things out. It's cool. All right? Um, I'm not a fan of the teleportation system. But, hey, that's the way it goes. That's how they built it. Fine. Um, you can use the grips on the controller to rotate and use the track pads to teleport. That's how I have it set on my PS Move the same way. I've got the move button as my teleport and the X and O buttons as my rotate. It works just fine. But what we're going to do now is we're going to actually go into the Oasis and start collecting some coins. Um, and you're going to see here the potential that they have for expansion is amazing. Um, like I said, I don't want to ruin the movie for you, but basically these games that are built in the Oasis um, are places where you can collect coins and it all goes towards the leaderboard. Your score, your coins get put up on the leaderboard. Um, and the neat thing about this is they recreate old games. So they have Doom and Gauntlet, and uh, they're gonna obviously be adding more, but they do it in a really neat way. They create a virtual reality version of that game. So when I press the menu button, I'm going to go into the Oasis map sort of menu here. I can choose things like changing my avatar. That's what I look like. I, I don't know, whatever. I can go to look at the leaderboard, see where I stand. I can check if my friends are on. Or I can go to the map, and that's really where the cool thing is here, the map. Now, this is the star map, and I can use my grips to rotate it. You can see that they've only worked on the first block, and this is what I'm talking about. Tons of room for expansion. I can use both hands, and I can expand the map out like that. Or I can actually click the first map, uh, first block, and now I can actually see the star map of the places that I can go. All right. So right now they have Rise of the Gunters, they got Smash, Battle for Oasis, and they've got Planet Gauntlet. I'm going to show you Planet Gauntlet today. I don't have time to show you all of them, and this is a great game. So let's play that. When I click that, a portal opens. I can now teleport to the portal and go into Gauntlet. So as you can see, this game can be many games, all right? And because, oh, let me tell you, it's free. What more can you ask for, really? I mean, it's free, and it's awesome. So now I'm going to be inside Gauntlet. 
All ye who wonder are lost, rich but lost. Ooh, yeah, that's really deep. Here we go, let's go into Gauntlet. Um, and this is what it looks like. I'm at the entrance of the cave, or the dungeon, in Gauntlet. And you can see how they've recreated it perfectly if you have played Gauntlet before, the original version. Uh, and there's the leaderboard of all the people who have done well in Gauntlet. So I'm going to just teleport up to the portal and get in there. Now if you play Gauntlet, you know that there's different classes. There's the Warrior, there's the Valkyrie, there's the Archer, there's the Mage. In VR, you can only play, as far as I can tell, you can only play as the Archer. But it is probably the best choice. It's, it's the one that feels the best in VR anyways. So let me show you what that looks like as soon as it loads up here. Now here we are. We're in the Gauntlet. We're at the entrance. You can see that my hand now is a bow. My other hand is actually unlimited arrows, and I can just shoot these arrows wherever I want as I look around and then smash the containers and all this cool stuff. But I haven't really started the game just yet. Um, I can use the grips to rotate my body. Again, I'm not a fan of that, but that's fine. And the weird thing is if I want to move, Okay, um, I have to actually shoot myself there. So this hand shoots arrows, but this hand shoots me like that. All right, which took me a little while to get used to, but now I'm used to it, it's fine. And I'm just gonna smash some containers, put my hand out if I wanna collect the coins, which is kind of a cool way to collect the items in the game. Um, I'm gonna just go down here. This is just the starting sort of lobby. Uh, there's no enemies yet. But we're going to go down, I'm going to go to these tables just to show you what that looks like. So here's some food on the table. I've got a big chunk of chicken. Mmm, that actually looks really good. Put it to my mouth and I can eat it. Throw the bone away. Um, so that's how you can get your health up. You can also get armor and stuff later. Uh, you can get bombs which help to survive. Basically the point of the game is to survive to get through the gauntlet as far as you can and to collect as much coin as you can as well because the coin will help your score which will help your score in the oasis which will increase your standings on the leaderboard all right so here we go this is the entrance to the gauntlet i'm going to pick up this key and it disappears and it goes into there, so we're ready to go in. I could go and collect all this coin and practice with my bow and stuff, but I've done this enough times, I don't need to do that and waste your time. So I'm going to go to the door, the door's going to open up. I don't have to touch it or anything, it just does it. And let me tell you guys, this feels really good. It feels really immersive. Here we go, first room, there they are. There's your enemies. Now you're going to try for headshots, because headshots are going to take off way more damage. And just regular okay so that was quick and easy um, and then you can go and explore the room so depending on you know most rooms will have some sort of pickups uh, I would destroy all the crates if I had the time I would do it I'm just trying to make this video shorter for you guys um, always like explore the tables because usually there's stuff on there you can see I got hit so I'm gonna need this apple and that brought my health up and now I'm ready to go to the next room. Basically the whole game is going from room to room, but it gets progressively harder, and there are different enemies in each as you kind of get through this a little further. Now this one's going to require me to come in before they appear, I think. No. Okay, I'm nervous. There's a pickup here. It looks like a potion, or maybe a bomb. Oh, it's a bomb. Okay. Just take that and we'll put it in our inventory. Okay, now bombs are super powerful because if you get overwhelmed, you can take out your bomb and throw it and it'll basically destroy all the enemies in the area. Here we go. Yeah, here they come. Headshots, baby. Come on, give me headshots. Oh shoot, I suck, guys. I suck at this game. It's not the game, it's me. My reflexes are way too slow. You guys are probably, most of you probably way better than I am. Come on. Come on. Oh, and I died already? What? That sucked. 
Anyways, I did horrible. I just got defeated in the second room on video, so you guys can see just how bad I am. But you can see how amazing that experience is. It is really, really good. And it's free, and it's, it's, it's an amazing experience. You're going to have a good time with it. And it's going to give you access to all those Vive games that, uh, you know, it's another library of games. If you enjoyed this video, if you like watching this, make sure you like and subscribe. i got tons of more videos coming up. Thanks for watching. Till next time, see you in VR.